okay, but I mean, I don't know. Nah, it's fine. We're chilling, big chilling. As a matter of fact, that being said, we are going to be seeing Spooky square off. Smash Red, Dark Hunt Pikachu. Um, you know what my favorite game is? It's to find out how many breeds, how many dog breeds people know about. And it's like Dalmatian's usually like the easiest one. Yeah, it's like yeah, that's easy. It's like, can you guess what kind of brown dog this is? Even better is like, what kind of duck is this? Uh, that is actually a good question. To me, that looks like a Long Island Mallard. It is a Mallard, very good. Huh. Pogs, that's actually really cool. I didn't know. That's a Mousetrap. It, it was just a guess, it was just a guess, but you know what, we got here. Yeah, no, Mousetrap is uh, scrapping right now. This man is uh, trying to... <sighs> I don't know, have you seen the visualization of uh, Clay Pigeon, by the way, in Hitbox? I have not, no. Educate oh, uh, it, is, it is horrifying. Oh, is it just massive? It's humongous! And it's a Flame 1 projectile, am I correct? Yes! Let me find it for you. It is kind of hilariously large. Wow, that up here did not kill. It was so close to killing as well. Oh, neither is that can't That can is not going to kill either. Mousecut just taking a sweet old time, sitting in the corner, throwing out a couple of T-Jolts, but finally going to be snuffed out by that Hey, Adara, I want to hear your genuine reaction to seeing this nonsense. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the tiny, thing, the tiny thing in the middle is the pigeon itself. This thing is massive! I don't understand why it's so big. It doesn't have to be this way, but it is. <laughs> I mean, the character kind of needs like a projectile like that in order to get his uh, to get his follow-ups. It's like, damn, bro, you guys could have made it a little bit smaller, like, please. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit excessive. Also, I've just noticed like how important of a tool T Jolt is in this matchup because it just says, "Hello, Gunman. It is time for you to disappear," and the Gunman just dies. Yeah, Mousetrap's having kind of a tough time approaching this. Uh, oh yeah, there's also the fact that Clay Pigeon just. It either loses to projectile straight up, in which case you can still get the shots off, or it just keeps trucking along like it did against that Thunderdome's. Okay, I have a question. Is it yes. just or is Mouse got playing more aggressive than I've ever seen him before? Because he has to. He has to, right? Duck Hunt, yeah, he... Duck Hunt can camp you from across the stage. Yeah, Duck Hunt just throws out the Clay Pigeon and it absorbs literally all the T-Jones. Mm -hmm. He has to. He has to play aggressive. Oh my god, dude, Clay Pigeon is so crazy! <laughs> yeah, this is not quite the next kill is gonna be able to kill a mouse god. That is a clay pigeon into the back kill. Wow, what an amazing setup from Sparky. His own can though. Uh, it really be your own sometimes, you know? Uh Sketch is asking what the the white circle around the gray circle around the, the clay pigeon is. That is actually the hurt box. Because this move has a hurt box, even though it's really hard to break. Well, it's completely covered by its hitbox, so it's basically useless unless you get a nice dish card. Oh wow, all this damage coming out from Spiky. Is he gonna be able to get the JV3? Not at all. What the hell just happened? How did Spiky take 32%? <laughs> I wasn't even watching, I was trying to see if there was like a hurt box damage. That it needed to take to break. Because apparently it can break the Thunder Drill, but not the grounded one, only the aerial one. Yeah. I mean, this is looking like a lost cause for Mouse right now, unless he pulls a fast one right now. Yo, wow. sick F Smash. Oh, can. <laughs> F Smash, which, which ends up just exploding himself for it. I really love that use of can coverage to get back. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and not enough back end hits to actually hit through the gunman. Really unfortunate for Mouse who got there. Uh... So the wild gunman with the um, the wild gunman in the brown coat is the strongest one, I believe. Yeah, he does. Ta he has oh wait, no, the sombrero guy is the strongest, and he has the most knockback, but he's also the slowest. So if he gets sombrero gunman or brown coat gunman, he can probably kill at this point. Either of those. Bye. <laughs> you know, finally find the dash attack. And I've got to say, Mouse can definitely make the comeback as, soon, as long as he plays real bit patiently, as long as he doesn't get too aggressive. Nah. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. 
Man got canned. Look at that Dalmatian. Stick his thing out. You got totally canned. Can a Pashu D. <laughs> Wait a second, I looked away. How did Mouse Cat lose his wig stop? I wasn't actually watching either. Oh no, that was just a replay, goodness. I thought I thought You blessed Devin. Oh you thought it was <laughs> that was the second match. Yeah. Because I swear that I looked away from from the screen for like ten seconds. That was just a sign from Devin to force me to keep my eyes peeled. Uh, for those who are watching for the first time, there's two categories for the, uh, there's three categories for the lag detector. Uh, the first one, I believe, is distance, so that's how far away they are from each other. The second one is ping, which is P. That's their, uh, I believe that's measured in milliseconds, and then F is flags, and each flag is basically a drop tag. The, uh, the, the lower the flag, the better. The D is for data. D is for what? Packet size. Oh, D is for data. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Devin. Data, D for data. F is food flags. We just have to go. U is for you and me. And it's for anyone, anytime at all. Anything. No, it's not for yeah, how many packets sent. It's for the size of the packets sent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. correcting high end. Okay, good. Yeah, I was like, uh, you corrected me already. Thank you, Evan. <laughs> Uh, skew, the recommended uh, minimum flags is zero. The recommended maximum flags is whatever your discretion is. Uh, we tend to be pretty liberal about it as long as it doesn't affect the match, but if, uh, it really depends on which packets are dropped, whether it matters a lot or not. Because oh, wow. you can drop certain packets and it doesn't end up doing That was such an odd way to start off with a dash attack into up air. Is that a thing? Pikachu's do that? Dash attack into up air? Yeah. I mean, if you DI it upwards, yeah, you can, you can get that. Uh, <laughs> I tried to counter the clay vision and he just got shot. Uh, he just got straight up shot. Like he was, he was just. <laughs> the dog got shot, guys. This is. I mean, uh, the, the rat. I can't wait for the next installment of the Duck Hunt series, Rat Hunt. Oh, God. He's dead, bro. That's it? Oh, wow. No, no. No, Brian back here, though, huh? I'm, like, I'm not done playing with my food. I don't Wait, know. the little gunshots on the can, by the way, those do have a hitbox. So, like, you can totally get hurt by those. Mm -hmm. Which is, like, that can be, like, a combo breaker all by itself. Not even, like, the explosion. Okay! Yeah, good use of the can. Wow, he was pixels off. The yeah, no, he really wanted that up smash. I respect it. Being able to get back on the stage against Duck Hunt is so terrifying because he is able to cover just about everything at once. You have a can active, you have a gunman active, you have a clay pigeon active, you have Duck, duck Hunt himself. <laughs> you have the duck active. <laughs> the duck is out there, he's just fighting. Yep. Look at him flying in the sky. I'm just, I'm just kidding. But I never noticed him. <laughs> Activate the duck, guys. Ducks, go out. Mighty D. That's oh, wow, that, time. That, that not able to kill. His DI was genuinely just as good as it could be in that moment. Okay. I like that use of the can to cover his roll off the stage. And honestly, Mouse Rat's been... Yeah, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to say, Mouse Rat's been keeping this pretty even overall so far. Uh, a lot more a lot more than the last match. We're still having difficulty approaching without uh, taking a significant amount of damage. Uh, not able to bend Amos' can on time. Is that going to be it? Uh, not quite, but pretty damn close. And, you know, I guess I'll take back what I said. Uh, Mouse Rat's having a hell of a time right now. Yeah, he just, he can't get anything started. He's, you know, playing super, super passively. He's dashing in, shielding, dashing back a little bit of food every single time. I like the fact that he's not jumping in too much. Uh, because, you know, the last thing you want to do in that stock hunt is actively jumping in. But one time you jump, you get you called out by up it, and that's the stock. And honestly, I don't even know what Mouse Guy could even do to try to make this back at this point. 
Oh man, okay. Just barely like not getting murdered for messing up his uh, recovery there. If he spiked after that, I would have popped off. <laughs> yeah, for real. He knocked the T-Jolt into the cave. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, no, this is a uh, this be kind of a rough matchup, especially if you don't have a good mid. You don't have to play pigeon. Uh, both of those both of those things make this uh, matchup a bit annoying to approach sometimes. Yeah. I I really don't have anything else to say here. I also got a struggle. <laughs> I definitely disagree with like Smashville as a stage choice. He was dying to Aku, um pretty early on. I mean, uh, the roof's not much lower on Smashville. Like, his chances to go out off the stage uh, and get kills super early based off that can be really big. But you know, you got to get him off the stage first. And if you're not doing that, then uh, I don't know what to tell you, bud. Uh, uh, little down air? What happened? He went to drag down back air. And, and then he died. The final hit. Uh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, no, congratulations to uh, to Sparky moving on to winter semis. Well, um, I might actually top out food tonight. My stamina isn't what it used to be. I need to wake it up a little bit. Um, That's fair. This is actually my first time commentating since, uh, I don't know, like five months ago. So, well, we're happy to have you. Yeah, you know, I, I might join in a little bit later tonight. I might not. But that being said, thank you guys so much for having me. I hope the tournament goes well. And I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. Make sure to sub and follow House of 3000 um, if you can. Oh, you thank you, darling. You're so sweet. Thanks a lot. Have Maybe. a good night. And we'll bye talk bye to you later if you feel better. Bye, bye. See you later. Peace out. All right, so next up on stream, we're going to have Beast vs. Pokemon. And this is going to be our uh, first one.